friends, today I want to talk to you and give you just a little bit of a spiritual tip, a, a spiritual tip for your spiritual care. And I want to read to you from the Psalm of David, Psalms 103, where he says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. He goes on to say, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. Well, the word bless is actually a verb. It's an action. It's an imperative. David commands his soul to bless the Lord. And so when I'm going through something or a time of where I need encouragement, praise and worship is actually spiritual care, spiritual care for my soul. Now, not just singing praise and worship, but when we bless the Lord, like David said, worshiping and thanking God is an action that we can all take. It's we have agency over our spiritual health. We have agency over our spiritual lives. Check this out. Listen to this. Our spiritual vitality comes when we worship, when we take that command to worship and to praise God. Worship reminds of us, us of his faithfulness. Worship reminds us of his goodness. It tells our soul to be encouraged. It's like taking a spiritual spa day or it's like, have you ever, um, you know you need to exercise, right? But sometimes you're not always motivated to get out and exercise, but when you do it, you feel so much better. Well, worshiping and praising and thanking God and giving him gratitude, showing gratitude towards him is that the same thing. Listen to this, what he says. He says, here's the benefits of blessing the Lord. We bless the Lord because he heals all of our sins. He heals our diseases. He redeems our life from destruction. He crowns us with loving kindness. We're so thankful for his tender mercies. And it goes on to say, he satisfies us with good things. And I love this part. He renews our strength when we worship him and when we praise him. You know, friends, we're not always in charge of what the outcomes are in our lives. We're not always in charge of, we don't have control over when we come out of something or some of the circumstances that are going around us, but we do have control over our outlook, how we see things, not the outcome, but our outlook. And I love it because David says, I choose to bless the Lord and to thank God for all of his benefits. So I want you to try that. The next time you're a little bit down, I want you to encourage yourself. I want you to take a spiritual spa day, a spiritual moment to care for your soul and begin to bless the Lord.